Hey, Dr. Chris Heimlich, and I just wanted to share today a um, story of one of our 63-year-old patients with low thyroid symptoms. And this is going to apply pretty much to you if you're watching this video and have low thyroid symptoms or an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, or any autoimmune condition for that matter. Or maybe you're watching this for a loved one. We get that a lot of times where the loved ones will do the research and then they'll tell their, uh, uh, tell their uh, sister, mom, whatever, hey, this person looks like they know what they're talking about. You should go see them. But anyway, we've talked in the past a lot about how different factors can influence why you're still having thyroid symptomatology, why you can still have fatigue, um, dry nails, your hair falling out, excessive weight, not being able to lose weight no matter what diet or what exercise plan that you do, and having depression, um, you know, all those different types of symptoms that you're having. We've talked about the immune system and how important it is. We've talked about the gut, the gastrointestinal system, whenever I'm talking about the gut, and how it's important to test it. Because what you want to do is you, you want to test it and you want to get the proper type of testing. One of our patients came in, like I said, 63 years old, wonderful woman, been suffering for years and years and years with low thyroid symptoms. Everybody thinks she's nuts giving all different types of medications for it, um, coming in and saying, hey, you're my last hope. I, 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 maybe I am nuts. I, I don't know anymore. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that she's not nuts. She's got a, several different things going on that we're, uh, we're able to be. Actually, she's already starting to see some amazing results, and not just her. Her friends are seeing results in her. Uh, we're doing some neurological type of uh, changes with her. We also decided, we, with, based on what the blood and lab test was, that she needed to have a, uh, a stool test done to see if she had any of these parasites, bacteria, or anything else going on. So we went ahead and we had her do the stool test. And I have her lab results right here. And it came back uh, uh, positive. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm not sure. But I'll read it over to you. Um, positive for E. coli, eight times what it should have been. She has one, two, three, four parasites that came out positive. So what I recommended you do whenever she had that uh, is to go and get some medications for it. Because I'm not anti-medication. And a lot of people are like, what? Jeez, man, I thought you did things naturally. Yeah, we do things naturally in here. I don't prescribe medications, no. Um, but if you need medication, and some people do need medication, yeah, then I recommend that you go to your provider and get that. So I sent her over to her provider and said, hey, take this test with you have them get you the proper type of medications because we've got some botanical things that may be able to take care of this, but let's just go to your doctor and see what he has to say first. Her doctor took a look at the test and said, yeah, I, I don't know what this means. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what taxonomy unavailable means. Uh, besides, this guy shouldn't be treating you for, uh, uh, for this type of parasites and stuff. She said, well, he's not. He's told me, referred me to come back to you get me some medication. I said, well, uh, well, he shouldn't be diagnosing you on this. It's not his place. She goes, well, I don't really think he diagnosed me. Wasn't it the, uh, you know, with all due respect, wasn't it the, the test results came back and showed that? It wasn't him. It was the lab that did it. Because this lab that I'm talking about does a DNA test to see what the stool is. You know, they use a fine tooth comb to figure out what's going on with the person. So he still said, no, 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 foo-foo on that. I want you to go to one of the local labs here. There's two big ones in our town. And uh, you do their stool test. Okay. So she got it. She went to the stool test, came back to him, and said, now, may I please get some medications? He's like, oh, yeah, sure. So he gave her uh, some antibiotics, even though she didn't even get the test results back. So I've got her test results back, and this is a test result. And I'm not going to turn around so you can see. Uh, I'll kind of cover up the lab, but at any rate, what happened here is it came back negative for E. coli, negative for cysts, parasite seeding, uh, negative for bacteria. All, everything came back negative. Now, this is before she even started any of her antibiotics. So we're doing a Pepsi test between the two of these guys, meaning that we're comparing apples to apples, and one test shows... One, two, three, four parasites and positive for E. coli. The other one shows up as everything negative. That's the importance of finding a doctor 
who's going to use the gold standards for testing, who isn't living in the past and using antiquated type of laboratory type of things and I don't I don't know how to say it just just ignorance uh, because information's out there it, all you have to do is continue taking educational seminars and not ones that are provided by the drug companies um, you actually you know, have to shell out some of your own hard cash and and educate yourself on what the newest research is and you want to find a doctor who does that type of stuff you want to find a doctor who's going to keep searching to find out why you're still having the symptoms that you're having because there's a reason there's always a reason you just have to dig hard enough to find it so make sure that if you have uh, you know Hashimoto's or low thyroid any autoimmune type of stuff that you find the proper doctor to do the proper type of testing when it's appropriate to get the answers to get you to get control back of your life I'm Dr. Hyman thank you very much